and, and 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 hence I said he lived a meaningless existence. <laughs> What's the problem? I'm not hyping him. A- <laughs> oh, I thought that said meaningful. Oh, oh that's my fault. Oh, am I? Can I wait? Did I type it wrong? Or you no, you typed it right. You, All right. you typed okay. it. I can't read. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I I apologize for my outbursts. <laughs> oh, I rescind everything I said. Well, I was wrong. I thought the chapter was really good, all things considered. Um, I liked it a lot. Um, I I actually off rip found it interesting because I'm like, wait a minute, y'all patching the universe? <laughs> this is this is universe beginning is version one point and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you have to patch the mistakes and errors here? Like, I couldn't stop thinking about video games and DLC because I was, I start crying. I'm like, wait a minute, they talking about their Dragons. errors, right? <laughs> yeah. Dragons OP, please nerf. Oh my goodness! They're like, they're like, yo, man, this is broke. It's break. It broke the game. Like you guys got to like. I'm just like, wow. Do we really do it? That's how we're starting. I love it. So it was, it was great. But yeah, we hear you now. Lala back. Speak on it. You gonna, you gonna speak. That's really how it was when you say it like that. That is kind of funny. It's like Kaju was nice pre pre nerf when he had his female form, <laughs> but. I love it. Then you know there's somebody who's like, please, oh, um, stop, stop patching the game because <laughs> <laughs> they need to get good. <laughs> stop making me, my life miserable. And trust me, I've been there. I've had I've had some characters that are like kind of busted in the game, and I'm like, bro, why y'all do this to me? Get better, because I'll cry. actually don't no, know. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying sometimes in my life. Let me stop. But yeah, strong strong beginning, all things considered. So what? I don't know what version of the patch we're on in uh, Kubera right now, but <laughs> we've, we've the way Anat has been moving. Yeah, like trillion trillion five. <laughs> Anata, you see, Anato's not trying to apply any general <laughs> fixes. He's trying to fix every individual thing one by one on his own. That's why. That's what he's doing. Instead of trying to apply yeah. like a general fix, he's trying to go. All right. He does the bugs. He yeah. does like little bugs. Like, yeah, exactly. oh, this table's glitching out. Let me uh, let me get that mm-hmm. real quick for you. We needed we needed we needed the permeables to to patch that Pokemon Violet and Scarlet again. Hey ho! Oh, I went there. I know that game's trash. I know I know the performance of that game is dick on the ground. Rip of uh, Smash Bros. Bayonetta Insta Kill. It's crazy because that's exactly who I was thinking about. Like I'm like Bayonetta's not playing the same game as us. She's playing Marvel vs. Capcom three, and we're playing Smash Brothers. What is this kill me off the top combo that took me a minute to learn? It's not even hard. I mean, not, let me not go back to my to my to my traumatic past. And let's just keep moving. I, I thought the art the artwork for the dragon off rip was really good too. And I found it interesting that it said that like naturally. They kind of die with the people that but, that they love. Did you kind of get that impression naturally that they were like? I almost want to argue that before the the patch, the nerf, if you will, they were the most emotional of the suras, the sur clans. Like they actually love and they care. Like they don't want to breed for the purpose of the clan. They want to imp- start a family with another person they actually are in love with. I found that pretty interesting, all things considered. I was kind of confused uh, on that. So, like, when, when they're saying this, are they saying, like, when they try to mate, since they can't mate, it just, like, causes, like, them to, like, I don't know, explode? Like, why, like, or, or is this they're just actually making, like, the conscious decision to, like, double suicide? It came across to me as a, as a conscious decision. Unless, okay, so... Um, well, I, I guess, I guess, it, I guess, I guess that that's another way of looking at it, that it's almost built in, and that's why the... <laughs> The update was necessary. Is that because the reason? Oh, sorry. Go Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. ahead. Because I think later on they give a percentage of 70 and 30 percent. Yes. And the way it was framed of like that being fixed was like. I'm trying to think of it. It seemed like far more innate than conscious based off the wording. I could be like misremembering it because I'm trying to think of like what. If we know why the dragons in present day commit suicide because they literally don't have emotions. Yeah. But if you love your partner and you're both immortal, what would cause you to make that conscious choice? 
would it be because you can't mate? But then you mate. I, I don't know. It, it feels a little. It would be. It feels like it would be a little counterproductive in that sense. Maybe I'm just thinking about it the wrong way. Mm. I I I, the, I think the way that I kind of took it isn't. It's like. <clears throat> Let's say I'm so you know I am I am from the clan, but let's say like me and my and my girl were in a fight, where maybe it's possible where one of us can live. We decide to die together. Does that make sense? That's kind of how I, that's kind of how I took it. So let's say we're fighting an oh. and we can't beat him, but it's like I like you like my partner could get away or live or I could live or whatever. But instead of like, I'm like, I'll sacrifice myself so you go away. We hug and we're like, we shall go together. That's that's how I took it. Okay, interesting. I could I could be wrong though. I don't know how anyone else took that, but that's kind of what I was thinking. Because I don't know, it's true. So hold on. So so it says here that like the, uh, before the problem could be identified, one third of our classmates had already been perished. Already perished. The solution to this um, problem that the king negotiated with the primeval god for was to unify the gender of the whole clan and suppress our emotions. I think that's that's important because I, I could maybe I just interpret I wasn't thinking about it correctly, but I thought they removed them. Yeah, I agree. The, I got the exact so same thing. I was like, I'm glad they used them. And I'm remove glad they used that are word. not the same thing to me. I don't at all. Yeah. Okay. And it makes more sense that it's suppressed. I, I'm really glad about that distinction when I saw it. I was like, thank God. Because it goes back to what we were saying about fucking nobody's having no heart and no emotions because some of the Dragon Clan members do, even though it seems most of them specifically have anger, like to, to Sokka. But I, I'm glad they, they, they made that distinction. And I will say this. Out of a lot of stories that I've seen that try to do the like emotionless thing, mm -hmm. this is one of the best. Because I feel like the dragons that generally don't have like emotions is shown well. And as we talked, as you said earlier, it's shown by the fact that they literally just don't find meaning that they kill themselves. Which is probably a lot more accurate than people saying, oh, he's emotionless, but he has like a plot to do something or a desire. To, like, you don't, if you have no emotions, you have no desires. You don't want to do anything. You don't have, you can't have a main you don't have purpose. villain. You don't have purpose. You don't drive. You can't be a main villain with no emotions. That's not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think the overall representation of it's really good. And I'm like that we get, we're getting more specific mm -hmm. about really how it affects. I'm glad you caught that, that Zemnitz quote, by the way. I see you. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't want to look like on never. <laughs> I'll, I'll die swinging. <laughs> I'll die swinging against them. Dragons equal love struck, saps, gotcha, gotcha. That's what we are, man. No, but no, but, 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 but what you're saying is well taken because, like, I guess before, in my head, I'm just like, oh, like, even this chapter, it almost kind of specifies, too, that I, I, I guess the way that I'm taking it is, like, let's say when I got, I got patched, the most prominent emotion I had was happiness. I could probably still at a very low level on occasion emote happiness. Yes. Because Tatsaka has anger. It seemed like Kadru somehow got the emotional resonance from Vitra's desire to fight Tatsaka. That's interesting to me. Because I thought he was wrong when he said that. I'm like I did too at first. I'm like, is he capping a Yeah, bit? like is he is he lying his ass off? <laughs> Or is, is this, like, actually happening? But it seems like... The problem is, this has become one of those series where it's like, everyone's got an angle, so I, I don't know who to trust. Because him eventually going to Brahma and being like, she's like, yeah, like... I'm like, Brahma could be lying her ass off to this man <laughs> just to send him to another clan for some reason. I don't know. But I'm yeah. taking it as he actually did somehow resonate with that specific emotion because it said that when he went to the Anata clan... He actually, in, he actually felt different from head to toe. He didn't feel the same anymore. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, did Tex... This is one of those weird things where, like, my mind was just going crazy. I'm like, did Kadru have, like, a female, like, a human wife? And Tixaka just accidentally killed her, like, off rip or something? You know what I mean? Mm. I'm thinking, like, is there some other revenge shit? And he was like, no, Vitra controlled me. And I'm, I'm even happy of the explanation, like, since we don't have Rakshaksas, really we're more affected than like we normally would be because we're Nastica. Yep. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yep. So the part here where it says there are some who are stronger, but even the king with a stronger female form except, um, accepted a personal loss for the sake of every clansmate in the face of the decision 
followed by the king's sacrifice. Anyone weaker than the king could not express their opposition. I find this interesting for this interesting for two reasons. One is the picture. Is that Vitra? Vima in a female? Yes. Form? Uh, v- oh. Okay. No, no, wait. That's no. Vitra is the one holding the papers. Okay. That's Vitra. He's already in male form. Okay, so okay, so those pictures of him. Okay, so those were okay. Those, so I was right on that. So those, so that's so that's him. So who's the girl? Then? The, the the that's Kadra as a female. Uh, oh, cause, yeah, because Kadra was weaker in male form. Am I yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Well said. Okay. All right. So like, I'm I'm caught up now. Okay. The second thing that's it interesting seemed- is because I guess the hierarchy must have shifted and changed it changed as people switch switch forms. Yes. Right? So yes. if I, if I'm if I'm two percent weaker than the king, I got no say. I love it. Mike makes right will never not go stupid for me. But yeah, that was that was I was I like that panel. Go ahead. Yeah, and I, I think it's interesting because Kadru seems to actually still be pretty strong, even though he's in a weaker form, like at least mm-hmm. middle, maybe upper tier. So when he was in female form, he might have been like top five of the dragons. Honestly, I don't I, I don't know, mm-hmm. but like, and I I, I do think it's kind of funny. That it's more strength based, as you said, and I, it, I think there's probably some that were like, "Oh, he's doing it," but like, it doesn't seem like many dragons were like, "Well, yeah, our king is also losing the power," and like, it, it doesn't seem like that decision was respected as much that he's willing to lose power for his crew, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. No, I, but it's more like, "Oh no, you're just strong. I can't whoop your ass. You got it." <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny because it's kind of funny because I was. Like a little, a slightly off topic because I was having this conversation with somebody where it's like, they're like, they're like, because I'm like, sometimes might makes right, man. They're like, and, I, and someone's like, don't be violent, man. Violence is not the answer. I'm like, that's not, it's not, that's not necessarily what I'm saying. The point is, if there's a two year old that has the cookie jar, I'm like, Timmy, give me the cookie jar. I'm asking to be polite and diplomatic. I could take that from him and there's nothing he could do. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, at yes. the end of the day, I had that in my back pocket. And I don't think sometimes people think like that. Like, I'm not trying to be violent with it. But the fact of the matter is, I don't have to listen to you because at the end of the day, if civil discourse fails, I'll whoop you and go. You can't. You yes. don't have. You have no negotiating power here. You're not strong enough. What you're saying could be make sense. But like, nah, sorry. I'm the king. Can't do anything about it. You want to fight me? <laughs> You want to fight? It's also, it's also. I just thought of this too. I think it's even more admirable about Vitra for doing this because he literally was mated with uh, Arivata at this time, or Kanara, Kanara before she did her shit. So like, he basically did give up that relationship for his like clan, which I think is admirable. Yeah. Because they, after he lost his emotions and stuff, like he just didn't care. So like, they were done. So I, I respect that. I do. I do wish. I do hope we get like a side story about them at some point. Or hey, I would. I would even like it in the main story. But I highly doubt it will get in the main story. Mm. Did you find the part where none of the gods want to fight with us and everything um, uh, with them like like interesting? Do you think that's that's like because they can't beat them, or that's just like a since they're they have no emotions, there's just no point of doing anything. They don't even get like riled up. You can't even like troll them. I guess I don't know. I think it's a mix of both because like we know uh, Varuna has killed a dragon before mm-hmm. so I, I guess that maybe that was one of those things that it was a dragon that had anger and was just wiping out humans and everyone was like all right i gotta i gotta murk you real quick but i i, I feel like it's a mix of both they're kind of like yeah they don't really do shit they just kind of they're just there so <laughs> whatever yeah. i like all these dragon pictures by the way they're all good very good yeah, I like them. So they're moving. So, so and so and so the correction of Vitra kind of era uh, was looked to be a success from the outside, but in reality, the reality I faced was much different. I like this part because it's like kind of obvious that like that's probably not a good fix. <laughs> like maybe be- I think it's one of those. Th- how do how do I how do how best to explain this? Because of the way that the gods kind of move and how they perceive things and whatnot. The part where they're like, sometimes their emotional control was not perfect and they'd kind of get enraged again to a fight because it never became one like not inter like intergalactic, interconnected, universal scale issue. They're like, oh no, that, that's solved. Like if they want to have their little dragon on dragon fights in the confines of their planet, the man is as dealt with. And I guess there came a point in the universe where like at this point you can't patch anymore, I guess, or they're unwilling to, I'm not sure how it works. So they just left them like this. And then, and Kaju's like, 
this is not the reality that I face. This was not a perfect way to do this. Like this is an error still. And I would yes. argue that I still see this as an error. We need a new update, Curry Goff. <laughs> you got to patch would, it again. I would agree. But as, as they said, they, we have no more patches because all the guys just left. <laughs> it's, it's like we have like a, if like, this is like a bad example, but like Fortnite just was running, but no one was there anymore. It's just like, yeah, this is, this is all like, all the developers are gone. What are you going to do? It's, it's, it's kind of funny when you think about it, man. But so he pulls up on Tatsaka. It's like, I'm going to defeat you today. He gets, 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 gets his thrown. Like, Cloud, calm down, Kadru. He's like, Tatsaka, please be lenient. This guy's been weird these days. He's not this reckless sometimes. Like, nah, I'm going to fight that bastard. And then he gets kicked. <laughs> and then they're like, what are you doing? And like, it's like you said, I think they do, she does a good job kind of showing their lack of emotion or general kind of nonchalantness. Like, their, their faces generally, of the dragons generally don't have, they don't like have any like, they're not vibrant and i like that like it's consistent like you said the ones who you could truly argue kind of don't have any you just they're just kind of deadpan no matter what's kind of going on though we know texaka can get angry i think it's also the people yes. that kind of went away and became less active accessible after the beginning that's a that's that's a, that's, a, that's a fair point because like you said earlier like they were like okay well shiva <laughs> shiva and um was it this was it was it shiva this new like okay just forget about it they're gone and then, like, she even made we're, the we're game and said, "I'm gone." Yeah, I'm he said, "I'll be there. I'll be here for the second. He said, "I'll be here. I'll be there for the sequel." But y'all got it. <laughs> y'all make part two. <laughs> y'all make universe part two. I'm in there. <laughs> universe part one. Said, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Here. He said, "He said I'm doing no patches." Mm -hmm. Y'all got it. <laughs> Shiva, who? Uh, listen, man. I made the video. <laughs> it's it's on Patreon. Why? Why we need Shiva? I'm not. That's not moving me, current guy. We're gonna bone the pick. We need Shiva. We want Shiva, but yeah, it is it is interesting that we're getting much more name drops and like moments of him because I didn't expect to see him in this chapter because I actually had made that video before this chapter and saw the, the Shiva name drop and kind of I think was he briefly in the panel like kind of to the side I can't remember I believe I so like, yeah and I was like that's very interesting how do you like the conversation with um with what's up Glenn? The 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 conversation with Verich, uh, not Verichra, with Kadru and I can't remember the other dragon's name because I thought there I I really thought that like Kadru was completely wrong or lying about the emotional resonance affecting him, but I like the conversation that, 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 that they had the back and forth with this one dragon. Same. Guy. I'm gonna circle back I, to like how we how it concludes with him, which was kind of interesting to me. But go ahead. Yeah, well, I, I want to ask this first, real quick. I, I this was my impression at first. I thought when Kadru was still a female, they were mates. And that's why he cared so much. Uh, did you have that same thought? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't register that. No, I didn't think that. I'm not saying you're wrong. That's what I thought, but that, that wasn't in my head. That well, in my head. I, I don't think it was the case after what we learned later on. Mm -hmm. But that's what that was mine. Because when I'm because when I'm first seeing this, uh, I was just like, oh well, all the emotions that they would still retain would be negative, like anger and stuff, right? So I'm like, the only reason why he would do this is it because they were partners, and it's one of those weird things of like, I don't know if I would say like. He has those feelings, but like, you know, like when like they understand the concept of what it meant to be a mate. Mm -hmm. So he would still just kind of be going through the motions of that thing. It's like as, out of like a duty and responsibility, not necessarily a feeling at that point. That's kind of like what I was like thinking. Uh, but I, 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 but I really like the convo. I, I, this, this just goes back to like more like understanding of like the actual world and like. How like things like emotional resonance can like affect NASA because like stuff like that. I thought the entire combo was good. Hey, I liked it too. Green glam turn. And brightest day, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? I'm doing good. Sorry, I missed last week. I was tired as a bitch and I didn't give any warning, so I did what didn't pull up. <laughs> no, that's fine. And I mean today I had to just do it because tomorrow's gonna be hectic. I might not even be able to get to one tomorrow. So I got that feeling too, but Curry got a blog comment, maybe he's not sure. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, that comment is pretty yeah. extensive, by the way. We'll we'll get to that too. She like I was like, I didn't expect that to be doing all that reading <laughs> at the end there. But <clears throat> Glam, first question is, did you did you like the kind of the stick I don't know, actually did you think the Varicha clan was like emotionless, quote unquote? They removed it? 
because this chapter said suppressed and me and me and miles were saying no like that makes way more sense and i prefer that like because we already knew that like taxaka could be kicking angry and things of that nature and on this chapter they said that like the way i look at it is basically i guess whatever your strongest emotion was when 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 um the universe got patched because <laughs> because of the errors in the beginning when, when when the update happened and we got universe uh 0. 0.2 I, if i was a very happy go lucky dragon I think I could still emote happiness, even if it's rare or at a very like stymied level. Like it's stymied is not as 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 much happiness as I did um, exude when I was like normal. But like, what do you think about that? First of all, um, I always took it as well. There's there's two aspects to this. The first is that what the story told me and what I actually thought it was. What the story mm -hmm. told me prior to this was that everything except for one emotion of each of them was entirely removed other than apathy. So they had apathy and then one other thing. Okay. This, that's what the story told me. What was shown is everything about you is repressed. Some of it is removed other than one emotion. Because you can clearly see that not everything is suppressed with Cossack because Cossack has more than just apathy. He has anger. He has arrogance. He has pride. He has love and caring for his daughter. Mm -hmm. Tuxaka is the same, and we see that multiple times. So I think I've, now Kurigam has lined up what the story tells you, and or what the story tells you, and what it shows you. I think she's lined them up to now be the same thing. Now I have a quick question for you, Glenn. Yeah, do you think I, I just thought of this? Do you think because I don't know if this is maybe maybe we doesn't have the opportunity to, but just thinking about it now. Doesn't it seem like Kasak really only shows his arrogance only when he's like in dragon form? Yeah, but that's only because he's not. I mean, there's nothing to be arrogant about when he's in human form because he's not talking True. to people he'd be arrogant to. True. I'm just saying, do you think for the halves, it's possible that emotions can even like change, even like even if the even if like the I mean, anything is really possible. small. I mean, here's this is I mean, this leads into one of my major criticisms of the story, but it's not it's like. There's certain aspects to Gnostica biology slash transcendentals that are highly unexplained, and they're also person to person basis, which is a bit weird to calculate. But it's possible. Do I think that it's the case right now? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. And do you think that is possible? That um, I don't. I kind of don't generally associate any of the Soros and Sora clans necessarily with like positive emotions and feelings and whatnot but sorry what the hell am i looking at up there that, that, that better not be a spider um <laughs> sorry i thought that's not, like nice but nice gonna end the stream i'm about to burn the house now but uh um, shoot oh do you think the revitra clan were actually the most emotional clan like before they got nerfed like they actually well, showed the most like love and like naturally in general because it seemed like the beginning of the chapter was saying that they don't they never really start families or breed for the sake of their clan or out of necessity or the the strongest and second strongest must be together. They do it when they're actually in love and they tend to perish together all the time. What do you think? Oh, uh, it's hard because it's just the way the shadow was lined up. Oh, thank God. Okay. It's it's hard because I think it's a toss up between them and maybe current day Yaksha clan because ever it seems to me that the case of the Yaksha clan is now since Yaksha died more of his ideals have been passed on to a lot of other people in the Yaksha clan than it was when he was still alive. Was that nurtured? Of, was that nature or nurture though? I think opinion. that that's that's hundred percent nurture. Um, if you're talking about just purely nature, then I think it's very clearly Vritra. Yeah, that's, Although that, maybe, that was that was really my question, but okay, yeah. If it's nature, then yeah, it's hundred percent Vritra, which you know only helps our agenda even more. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> Three horns. <laughs> I love you. Love to see it. Okay. Um, anything else um, we talked about earlier before? Uh, we we'll talk about Soria. We no no we we're not there yet. We're literally like right after Texaka uh, or Masuki. Kind of about Vritra's design yet? Out. When you showed with him with the wings out yet? No, we we're, we're not even there yet. Ooh. But Gosh. no, we did say one more thing. We just said what it, would, it was not nigh the. Uh, how did you take them perishing together? Did you take that as like suicide? 
if when they're fighting apart, someone and like one of them dies, one dies with them, or did you take it like as an innate thing of like because they couldn't innate. And, uh like have oh, see, that's what I thought. Innate. Oh, so I was okay, so I so I didn't take it. If that you're way. paired together, just insta kills both of you. That's what I thought it was. I took it as something to do with pregnancy. That's how I yeah, that it. could still be it still could be an insta kill because of the pairing, but whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, we could read it one more time. Our line was strong enough, blah, blah, blah. We possessed the fatal error of perishing together if we love each other. Naturally, that meant that no reactive child could be born, and before the problem could be identified, one third of our classmates had already perished. See, I didn't take it that way, as it was just some like, I fell in love, like, now we die. It was more so like, if, if I have a partner, Glam, and we're in a fight where one of us could like if I sacrifice myself, she could live. We decide not to do that. We die together. That's how I took it. I don't know. It seemed more. It seemed like they were just like literally like combusting. <laughs> it seemed like, more spot... supernatural to me than that. Naya. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's what I kind of got. I'm like, it seemed like they're literally just like outright exploding. Like, like it feels like yeah, it feels like it was almost like hey, we hit this moment and then we just spontaneous combust and there's nothing we can do about it. I didn't get that. Maybe some, maybe maybe something that happened that that we that we talked that has been mentioned about the clan earlier that I'm not recalling. So it's still not. Maybe so maybe I mean, this seems something completely but, new to me. Like I don't. It I don't is. Think, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I didn't take it that way. Because I mean, it's completely. There are still there are still serious. dragons really who know. fall in love with humans and, got, and create halflings, right? I think that was a change made once they started realizing this flaw, and that's how they started reproducing. It, I'm pretty sure it was a change made specifically. That's why the that's why halves have powers of the Rakshasa. Because I actually think Naya, if one of them did try to have another romantic relationship with Anastika, it would still happen to them, even now. Okay. That's why I but that's why I took it as a pregnancy thing of like if they like try to like conceive or like they are like because they like physically can't have it. I don't know if like inside the like female dragon the baby dies and that's what calls them to do it. But I took it as like. The active when they actually try to have a kid, that's what happens. Because I feel like that's the only time I could see like a weird thing happening. Mm. Because I don't know how you would constitute we we're in love now and that feeling. Oh, I mean, this is all really metaphysical shit anyway. So. Very true. Look, I don't I think he's explaining the blog comment. They were a lot stronger, so they didn't feel as a clan that they need that they had to breed Rakshasas. Did they reach a status of enlightenment? It's weird that they would let them perish. Uh, watching whatever it was, praise Hanuman. I was lost in my immersion. Did it go a different dimension? They kind of just melted away due to love, curries, longer blog posts, and so at least without any further explanation, obviously. So, oh, wait, they are spoke. They are sorry, Panzanaga. I, I, I do, I do do them on Tuesdays usually. It's just that, like, I got a really busy day tomorrow and I want to sleep early, so I'm just doing it today. I probably should have, like, made a bigger announcement but you guys know me i just kind of just do things on the fly yeah, bro the biggest announcement to me was seeing that shiva vid F fuck the stream <laughs> i need that shiva vid. <laughs> That's... it's there <laughs> um need it. No, you'll get it you'll get it don't worry and shiva was in this chapter too and the joke is I, well, I, that's I, exactly why i fucking I was... read the chapter i saw that motherfucker i was like this bitch this fucking bitch she did it again oh man so yeah, so we get beyond the cut. Look at him with the wings out. He looks good. So he act. So do you actually think that Kaiju actually had weird emotional resonance with the one like emotion that Vitra had? Like why was it him? I don't know, dude. I think. Oh, I just thought of what, potentially why. Go ahead. Maybe because Kaiju is one of like the few dragons that's stronger in female form, like Vitra. That could be why he has that connection. That's one thing. Well, I also, about. it's a thing of. Kadru wasn't feeling the removal of the other form to begin with anyway. Because it was like, you remember the two people that seemed to disagree with that? I think Kadru was the one in focus. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was like, I don't know. Maybe we, do gotta, maybe we really do got to start calling the Primevials the devs. <laughs> they patch in the universe, bro. That shit is so funny to me. Uh, maybe the emotional Kadru had was, was, was empathy. You think so? That's interesting. I mean, I, just, I, just I don't know if we'll ever know I just that. It, I, just I, find, I, just dead, but... I just find it funny that, like, that was the thing. Like, like is that even an emotion? That's like a desire. Like, I want to fight Taxaka. Like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. Can I, ask a, can I ask a question real quick? Go ahead. Did y'all, like, 
do you think it's weird that we got this information about the Vritra Kran and a character that's kind of really irrelevant as Kadru is? Mm, no, not really. I mean, oh, but, but I'm also say like, did you? Does this chapter make you even care about Kadru at all? No, I still, I, think, I, I still think I, I, I still I still I still, I still think you. I like Kadru. I like Kadru. <laughs> This did not help him. Ago. His stocks did I not like, move. Like <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I like. I don't. I don't give a fuck about Kadra after this. I like the best thing for me, I can't say that I. I don't like him any more or less. Like the stock, like the like yeah. like wherever wherever that line was, it didn't budge. <laughs> it stayed oh, yeah, right where it was. But I thought like, he was an. I, hold on, I thought he was an interesting tool as a vehicle to teach us all of these other things surrounding the clan, and I thought that it was apt to use him because he's already dead and he's kind of a good throwaway to use. It's kind of like how we say, for the first like, well, we say first, but for Zack Snyder's Justice League, Steppenwolf was a good throwaway like um, apocalypse uh, you got to use to use um against yeah. like like you know what I'm saying like. You didn't want to actually use someone that was really good and throw them away. Like, if we're going to die, we, we thought Steppenwolf was actually a good throwaway villain to you. So I think Kaju kind of fits that rule here. That's how okay. I saw it. And it's, like you have, and it's like you have a lot of dragons to really, like, follow anyway. Yo, I'm just so. like, maybe, I don't know, maybe if using Utpala could be an interesting way to take it. I don't know. It was just a thought I had. Like, I, mean, I, really, I really think I he lived a meaningless that. life. Like, what did he do? Just I agree. He just stayed around, and then he's like, I died. I'm bored. <laughs> like, yeah. sorry, bro. Like, I'm not. But, isn't, but I, th I think least, he's the worst. He's I the worst of a clan. He's the bottom. He's the. We don't. We don't. We don't speak about him. He's. Yeah, we he's don't blame him. I guess that's why I like him because that's the whole point of the Dragon Clan. Now they all have basically meaningless lives. That they literally all commit suicide now because they they got fucked. I, I, that's how I kind of took it. I think he's supposed to like most aptly represent the dragons and, and, in a way. And, 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 and he should. He should have found meaning and purpose fuck and direction. The Facts. Maybe like, maybe the emotion. Wait, I don't care for him, but I like the world building around the story. See, that's basically kind of how I took it. I, I think Kaju was an okay character. Fair enough. Maybe he was um, competitive and that reacted. I like Kaju. Okay, I don't know the relationship with the three horn. Interesting. Damn nice. Said he was unmoved to Kaju as the dragon. How apathetic. He saw paradise. He did noteworthy things. Like yeah, you know, what I'm saying like Kaju's around. <laughs> See, this this is what this is why I call y'all fake fans of y'all clans. Real lovers like me love everything, the good and the bad. Y'all here only claiming one dragon. Y'all don't, don't love the claim. First, his own clan doesn't first, like him anymore. He well, left. First, first of all, let's let's get let's get it. Let's get it. First of all, he he, he not a clan member. All right. Yeah. I got I got one he not he not one of us. He's number, not even a snake. No, He's a num bug. Number two. I one, okay, I got go, go, one go, rebuttal. Go, go ahead. What's the name of the three horn dragon? You don't got a name. What's his, what's the name of Three Horn Dragon? I don't know. If he has a name, I don't he's know, but he's wrong. No, no, no. This is irrelevant because he's not an Atlanta clan. When he died, he's a fucking Ashra clan. He's a bug. Fuck him. What's the name of the Three Horn Dragon? Who don't gives know. a shit? See? You don't care. Anyways. You just, like, this, my this second, like my second point is I play favorites. I've never I, I've never hidden this. <laughs> I play favorites. All right? I will pick and choose who I like. 100%. Uh, I'd be like, you see those four niggas over there? I don't like them. But these four, those are my dogs. I I got I got favorite nieces, favorite parents, favorite people, favorite friends, favorite food. I am not a good person. This <laughs> shit is not ubiquitous. Get that crap out of here, man. There is, like no, there is no there is no there is no plan. You know, I don't know, like vote red to your dad, vote blue no matter who. Nah, <laughs> none of that here, right? You still individuals on this team. All right. Thanks, thanks. All right, that's how that's how I win. See, that's why you gotta be a bad person sometimes. He he, he, did, try, <laughs> he did try to fight me to his life. That's the whole reason he died in there. I don't know about going to friggin' like. Did he go to Cali or like the the, the Taka King, um, the Taraka clan clan? I don't know why he was there. He was lost. <laughs> he was actually a Taraka in the end. Yeah, I thought his friend lived a meaningless life, even though he helped others. It could it could be that for him, all life is meaningless. We'll get to that in a second. There's no escaping reason or denying purpose. Jesus. For, as, for as we both know, without purpose, we would not exist. It is a purpose that created us, purpose that connects us, purpose that pulls us, that guides us, that drives us. It is the purpose that defines, that defines purpose that binds Mr. Smith, the goat. Oh, if he pursued purpose at least, he was reunited with the three horn at least. What? So, like, the, the three horn guy, I would say at the very least, he had he'd had what I would I would say maybe had a good impact on people because he came across as somebody who's like 
who need help or something, he sticks around until he he thinks you can stand on your own two feet and you don't need to lead him anymore. And didn't he didn't he fall in with a human? Yep. Like, like at least he at least he kind of like had a family stuff. So like I would argue he had a more meaningful life than um than Kaju did. Um, Kadju's opinion that he kind of just died like a whatever life. I mean, that's, I, I don't think that's I don't think that's a hundred percent wrong or right. I think that's it depending on your perspective. But helping people is is important. So shout out to him. Kadju helped nobody. <laughs> Kadju got uh, shit on by Indra, by the way. Why Indra do that to him? He looked. We'll he looked at him was we'll like, bro. We'll He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? <laughs> oh my goodness. That shit was so funny. What and then um <laughs> <laughs> Chad Joe, Jesus Christ. That was that was crazy. Well, all right. Um, he was just shitting on him and then he's like, you feel emotions? Does that even hurt? The fucking loser. He just dips. <laughs> Jesus. So Brahma and Shiva shut themselves in the God realm after the era of correction in the beginning. And Vishnu and Kali are so fickle. It was almost impossible to meet them unless they came to find you first. So he pulled up to the gods. He was like, yo, you know where Brahma and them is? Like, yo, if you go to the God realm, you, your head might just pop because even for them, they can't stay there. Well, the one girl, I think, uh, I can't tell who that is. Is that Massive Vince? Who's that? Who, it's not massive. Who, who's the girl talking with Indra? I can't tell when it's called. Sometimes when it's colorless, I can't tell oh, who it is. Oh, it's Maru. Okay. It's that's what, I said Massive Vince. That's who I meant. I said Maru. I don't know why I said Massive Vince. Okay. So, <clears throat> but she's only fourth Zen, right? It's fourth Zen. Yeah, that's why she was talking about, like, when they were. Okay. So uh, the rest of them, the fifth and, so the fifth and are fine then in the God realm. So just her. Yeah. Okay. So they're saying basically if you're a Nastika, you cooked. You can't go up there. <laughs> yes. You instantly die. Mm. Or not, not die. Yeah. Yeah, die, I guess, in one in one way or another, I guess. Mm. Can a Nastika reach enlightenment? They can. It would just take forever. Can somebody please... Here's a better question. Krigam, can you explain what the fuck that is, please? What enlightenment? Yes. Or what the top is. The way the way I took it, the way I took Ran, it. Ran, Ran, hold on. Ran, 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 I agree. Ran, Kaju is relatable. But I, I don't I don't I, res- I don't respect it. But I need some goddamn answers. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll explain why I think it's what I think. I think it's like they reach a state of like understanding and oneness with everything and i think that's where they get their future telling abilities the only from. thing we know about it is that they go up there to remove memories from themselves because apparently yes. they go nuts but i think that's also do shit i think that's also didn't, where they didn't get, agony like, the, say uh, that he doesn't want to do it because you stop caring about the world because you're enlightened yes, yes. I, there you go wait hold on let me make sure i'm not make sure i'm not doing this right wrong. but anyway What's after yeah. the reaper thing? No, no, no. I want, no, I want the mouse to finish. Oh, are, are you looking? You looking at something right now? I no, I was gonna. Say, no, I was gonna say. I, I was thinking because my my head cannon was. Uh, that's what gives them also like all like the, the ability to see all those futures because they're like connected with everything. So when they come back, it's kind of like bits and pieces that they have to formulate. But I'm trying to think of all the gods that we know have seen specific futures. So that actually might be wrong now that I think about it. So enlightenment, I don't know if she like. I I think enlightenment to me is just like you actually like. I don't think being emotionless and being enlightened are the same thing, right? Necessarily, but I think how it presents is similar. You know how like, I I, I realize that I'm very like two like three dimensional. I like go I go personal. I go like manga, anime, or I go sports. KD and LeBron leaving their teams on the surface level look similar, the same. But when you kind of go, when you go literally like one layered in the onion deeper, you're like, no, it's not the same thing exactly. So, but it could come across very, like very superficially can come across as the same. And that's how it is to me. So like enlightenment, I don't know if it's a discarding of like your earthly attachments or whatever the case is so that you can ascend. And maybe the idea is you're supposed to do that to help, but because you're enlightened and you see, how do I explain this? And you have a deeper understanding of the universe and maybe the hierarchy of importance. You don't act, you, you don't act the way that maybe you would act if you still had your emotions and maybe an attachment to a person on earth. Whereas if you just don't have any emotion, you just don't fucking care. You're apathetic. And you're not feeling anything in any capacity, but it would be hard to tell the difference if you're not somebody who truly understands that. It's kind of how I see it. So 
with the I, with, with the way I remember Agony explaining it, it's basically like once you do that, you're not gonna have any desire to help the world anymore. So I don't know if this would even help Kaju. He might have just become a, a worse first. Like it might have just been the same if he actually reached enlightenment. But I wonder, I wonder why it takes a NASA, it would take a NASA come much longer than it would maybe somebody else. Like could a human do this in this world? Why something like that is even considered enlightenment? That's my well. I, I I'm trying to oh, fuck. I'm trying to remember. Because Chandra specifically was the first to do it, and then he also lost something specific. Because I, I, I don't want to say Chandra lost his ability to care. That's why he's so pragmatic. That may be it. Uh, I, I don't um, know. Okay, so I guess they, they can't leave everything at the top. They need to keep something that makes them care about the universe. Seems like for Agni, that's his love for Brilith and wishing for happiness. In Agni case, Brilith, enlightenment is post, 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 not clarity. It's, that's a crazy thing to say. But I felt, I understood what he was saying, though. When he said it, I, I understood what he was saying when he was saying it. <laughs> I think that's the way you respect your stats. When Wait, does enlightenment mean pulling, pulling an ang? I mean, if... <laughs> it's actually kind of funny you say that because I think it, don't the chakras like concept actually come from Hinduism? Or am I wrong on that? Because like I know Ajna, I think uh, yeah, is the sixth Hinduism. is the sixth one, and that's supposed to be like in the I can't. I don't know. Let me not yeah, pretend I remember this. I remember this off my head, but yeah, it's, you can, I, it's you have to let go of a lot of things. But I I I, I argue maybe with with Ang, he probably still would have been able to help people. This would have looked a lot different. Enlightenment seems to be like a fucking scam as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Um, probably yeah, because there has to be some level of gain that you get from doing it. Like, it can't just be like, oh, you get to lose something. I feel like there, because I think the whole point was that there is something to gain, but a bunch of the gods were abusing the system of losing mm. shit because they stopped wanting to feel certain things. So, it, it from what it made it seem like, injury and a bunch of people were abusing the system, so they didn't have to care a lot about people. But that's not the primary pu purpose. They literally said they're misusing the system. It's a fucked up system. I think Agni said that specifically. It would take so I, the, the thing is, we still don't know the benefit of it because there has to be some great benefit. What's, like, what's what are the pros? We don't, we don't know the cons. Yes, that's why I thought it was the future thing. But Agni, I think, also has already like shown like future no, ability, he's seen, future he's telling seen, abilities yeah, he's without he's, going. Yeah, but he it hasn't would, done it, so it that's would take like, I a know. very long because they need the longest time to change, and that's that's substantiated with things like on Havra and Maruna taking how long they take for any even some of the most minute changes in their personality to happen. Yeah. But my pushback is, wouldn't it be dependent on the Sura? Like, yes, I don't think Naka was supposed to get it, like the first one to get it, which yeah, makes like, sense because of her personality. I don't think that is necessarily like a a race related thing. It's more like who is the individual. That's kind of how. That's that's kind of yes. why I asked the question: Can a NASA Cup become enlightened? Dude? So that's the, that's just, that's just how I see it. Obviously, I'm not I'm not saying I'm right. Um, didn't Agni do it the hard way? Why he retained more humanity like Kubera? Yeah, Pachina. In most cases, a huge cost. In that case, F enlightenment. I'll become the god of the verse in my own way. Power, maybe insight. That I'll forget enlightenment. Give me power, bro. Power and might, military might. Political might. Uh, enlightenment is knowing that emotions are made. Hey, Throw them away. <laughs> you don't need that. I'm way too greedy to give up shit for enlightenment. Yeah, that's why like, I, I like, I like. Remember, like, remember does a hear part when when Pali gets blur hair shit clapped and then he just goes empty, empty the void, empty become when he starts flying. I would, I would have crashed to the ground, bro. Like, I am, I, not, I, am not, I am not giving up any of my earthly attachments, bro. I'm not doing it. He said, My girl, he said, My girl's gone. Yeah, it is what it is. We are here. He, he said, No, he said, My coochie's gone. All right, man. I, I, I'm leaving here with you, you, you took, you took, you took the only thing I can. I'm, <laughs> I'm around the way. I'm leaving with something. I'm flying. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> uh, that's one of the best episodes, man. I love that episode. Okay. So. If you really want to visit there, you have to reach enlightenment. Although I don't know how long it'll take for Nasica to get to that point. How could he? How could he even? How could he? If even I haven't reached that yet, and so that's um, Maru speaking. Like, can that just mean Maru's just just, just trash? <laughs> like Maru is a hundred percent a trash goon. Well, she's a fourth zen, so that's why she has to be yeah. fifth zen. Yeah, but she's still oh. a trash goon. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. We know it can Relax. be a she without a she, yeah. 
maybe if he only lived eating grass for 10 billion years, he would have a sliver of yeah. hope. Jesus Christ. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, sir, like it's so harsh. Well, first, I'll tell Brahman name first of all, but I don't know when she will give a response. So he said the Brahmin well, sure, God, I barely got a chance to meet, advised me to change clan. So what do you guys think about this this clan changing thing? I'm glad we got something, but there's still more questions and answers because how the fuck do you do it? I think it's an irrelevant concept unless other characters do it. I was gonna ask, do we do we have any because like we know Yaksha would chill and hang out with other clans, but he never left the Yaksha clan, so to speak. And I don't know if a no. king is capable of doing that. So it's like an uh, interesting concept because like how does this work now like what is there a process where you like have to pledge some type of allegiance to the new king and then because remember emotional res resonance is only supposed to affect your clan like how do you s more than just like all right i'm one of y'all now and they're like oh he's cool he can be here like how how do you really become like a part of another clan that way because i find That's the fact that he know. said that when he left the clan and became a part of another clan he stopped feeling whatever the feeling he was to like fight Taxaka that, that left it wasn't there anymore so there's probably he, some truth to what he was saying and he specifically said it's easier once you do it the first time so it's like what is, what is this fucking process mm -hmm. and the only thing that we know besides this is that the uh, uh, fucking Ashura clan specifically has a bunch of people from outside their clan so like there, there's some level of relevance here it's just weird that we didn't get the specific uh, way of how you do it. That's what I said. You gotta have other characters with names in this for me to care. Get the what? Oh, the, okay. Well, yeah, like I, I'm, I, I'm not I, gonna I, care I, about the concept. I, I guess part two is like, do you do you see this becoming a thing that we see in the main story now, even if it just happens once or twice? Absolutely no. No. I think the reason I think it being showed in a side story gives it more credence that it won't be for right now. Accepted by the king. You you uh till you keep the form though that's interesting I don't know I didn't I was trying to I was thinking to myself like how does that work like do you go to Anata and Anata's like you have to, you have to, you have to eat a part of my body I don't know like how does it work what's <laughs> what how does that shit work pull a Jambavan to make them fucking <laughs> oh man another claim yeah and like and then when Brahma like I don't trust Brahma so when Brahma was just like yeah just change it change clan it'll be good but you can't go back to the clan that she that she began with like why not. Is that is that like a is that like a like some Iron Clan rule or is that more like? Hold on, you trying to leave or come back, bitch? <laughs> like, I don't know which which one is it? Because I, be I can understand part two. Mm. It, it's also weird because like, it's just like yeah, but like they specifically even say yeah, your short form and your abilities don't change either. So it's just like I'm still you're still just you. You're still like a dragon, like. Because uh, when know. Sagara came king, they're like, oh, no. <laughs> we <out of> here. <laughs> they said, oh, no. We're not about to do Plan this. Hooked. Yeah. We, we, this, 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 this is the fall of an empire. <laughs> so. Oh, man. But anyway, so he went there and he's like, oh, it's cool. I'm here. Um, where's, that, what's, where's that one line I'm looking for? Just give me a second. Blah blah blah. I was more care comfortable and carefree with the Vitra clan. They, they weren't arrogant. Oh, so, so we kind of got a little bit of the hierarchy of the United clan, I guess. Um, they're not strict, no overly arrogant. With their king who possessed overwhelming power, he didn't wield it recklessly. A harmonious group of advisors that gathered up, uh, making up an ideal ruling class. So there's like an established hierarchy, maybe in a more in a more civil discourse and political sense here i'm not sure if you got that impression more so it's like oh like i'm not i'm ranked three because i'm stronger i'll beat your ass more like no like maybe we're, we're a little more diplomatic did you guys get that impression or just me i you know the thing manas event was literally just being he was like acting king i really feel like anata was just not there doing shit and was like this is what we're gonna do for the day anata said i can just do it we'll be all right because <laughs> manas event seems the only one with an actual head on his fucking shoulders in the clan <laughs> mm -hmm. okay it seems like Kaiju is one of those silhouettes can play the saga on one of the flashbacks of season one, season two. Oh, interesting. It's hard being a Sagara fan, I swear. Is this how Naya felt is, is this how Naya felt being a Hawkins fan? Yeah, probably. Cigara stink. <laughs> oh, no, I do, do not, not I like Cigara. Do not rate Cigara. Uh, I like Pretty Cigara. Pretty indifferent. Pretty what indifferent. I, I like her more now though, after she went through her 
Um, so shenanigans. Three Horn says, before you knew it, you started saying we when you talk about the Anala clan, as long as you're happy, and then he never sees him again. And then he starts to kind of almost somewhat lament it. Like, he's thinking about it. Like, why do you think he's thinking about him so long? Do you, do you think what you said was right? And and okay. how do you never turn back into a... Oh, wait. Actually, I think he can. Never mind. I forgot. That was more like a... That was a patch. That wasn't a, a, a conscious decision. My fault. But, yeah. Ah! So, another 100 million years, 100, 100 million years. And they said, it's no fun. They looked at him weird. It was the, it, it, it was it that friend would he have understood? I tried inquiring about him, and he's like his whereabouts are unknown. I think when he when he finally, finally figures out where he is, he's like recently perished. He learns mm-hmm. some things about him, and then this guy like goes to become like a chaos attribute. So what's good with him? <laughs> Why you do that? This guy, my my my, my, mind, was, my I... mind had no my mind was lost. I think I took it as because he asked about because this was his, he because he already asked about uh, fucking enlightenment and now that like his like last attachment per se is gone, I think he was like this is like the only thing left to pursue, and the only one that can help him would be a primeval one. I mean, all the other ones are gone. <laughs> so Cali's all you got. That's so crazy to me. So yeah, they're like, we guess we got to move again. Let's move before it's too late. Thinking about what the clan looks like. We go to the Ashura clan. Ashura clan took some Anata clan members. Hold on. He out here of massive power. He over there. He out here, bro. He's out here. Yeah, so they said he recently died. I heard he rebelled against his human mate going to hell after she died. Invaded the god realm and died. Did he get killed in the god realm by another god? Or did the thing that happened... But they said what happened to Kaju happened to him. Where it's like, you just go pop because, like, you're not fizzing. I think he just got jumped. I think he just got jumped. Mm -hmm. As long as he didn't take the Eltima route, I'm fine with him being jumped. Okay. I'm just curious. Of course he didn't take no fucking Eltima route. Come on, be for real. I understand, Miles. (laughs) You can't be having taken L's to a goon like her. Okay, so th- this is my favorite part of the chapter. That guy and me. What were we created for, and where are we going? And Indra says, "You realize that when you stand at the top, something like you would never reach there, even if you died and revived hundreds and hundreds of times." Though I'm like, why? What was the reason? <laughs> Why I need you... Indra to get packed the fuck up. Yo, if he him. does not, if Indra does not suffer in his end, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. Like, what was? Packed. Why did he do all that? Who asked? Who asked for your input? This <laughs> shut up over also there. Another W for Surya being the nice guy once again to help this dude out for no reason. Mm-hmm. Also, more intrigue again. Why do you not help Saha? You son of a bitch. Because he wants humans to do their shit themselves. Oh, listen. Stop being so long vision head assed. Oh Get yeah. Involved. He says stop thinking long term. <laughs> Facts. You know, you keep saying he you was gotta learn to stand on their own two feet. Miami? I don't know. I don't know. Same Sorry, thing. Chandra mentioned another beast carried there. He said you have to, it's, when he got eased, like, I got to carry another beast, something like that. Yeah, I remember saying that. I absorb their essence. Yeah. Rather than living this boring life, which is so difficult to find fun anymore, trying at least wants to reach that place they had reached may not be such a bad choice is what i had thought and then did you see him dying here but you're trapped here there was no way you could ever go up to the top or whatever kaju if there's a place that um reached ultimate state of mind do you think he he would be bound phys- physically the bottom of the top of this world exists and anywhere in anyone it's just that only a few can understand this then, then you let me eat you on purpose and you then he sees like that flashback of I guess I guess I guess that's um the three horn guy and his and his human his human mate. The, the last thing I see is him. I truly have also yeah. lived in vain. And I'm like, you really did live a meaningless you lived a meaningless three hundred million years, bro. <laughs> well plus, but yeah. I was like, yeah, he did kinda. Yeah, it's tired. That's another beast I have to carry, and then it ends. The blog post stuff was interesting. I'm gonna get there, but what do you guys think of the chapter though in general i enjoyed myself better than, i like it better than last week personally. no i don't i just i, I did, disagree i did i did i did personally. I, I think from a i, I like it because of like 
like us like getting like a- like more answers on like the structure of the world and stuff but now nah, i think the last i like the last chapter one mm-hmm. for sure well wow. better than last week okay not better than the jumbo von ones i actually think i might go as far to say that the jumbo von ones clear this one in my nah, opinion not me this one this one this one probably my this is my second probably my second favorite one of, of the side story so far i would say but okay oh so and she just said this is not crow's dad i guess i guess maybe somebody thought it was crow's dad <clears throat> Blog post says the dragon who appeared in the first panel on uh, is on the left. The Kaju saw them die like that before his very eyes. Um, dragon clan versus Usher clan because of the description of jealousy being la 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 la. Tasaka isn't the only dragon left at the anchor. There are many Nasikas. There must be dragons with the same emotion left, right? The only emotion his friend had left was compassion. So he felt sorry for Kaju being in a weakened state and stayed by his side until he saw that Kaju had adapted to the Anata clan, then left. In a similar way, he helped many other creatures and lived in such a way that he left the other person's side when the situation improved. Although amongst the dragons, this was a very sincere life. It may have not been a good life because you cannot guarantee a person who brings compassion is always a good person too. What do you think of that statement? Because you cannot guarantee a good. person who brings compassion is always a good person too. I'm, I like that. I like that. I, I I I think I think the best example is Monaco. Okay, she's a good person, but her compassion caused her to not really take a hard stance on Gandhi, and he ended up killing trillions of people. So your sentiment and ideology is fucking not enough. Mm, very interesting. <laughs> um, Glam. Huh? No, Jesus Christ. Um, by the way, Agnes comment about a lightning man I mentioned earlier was in season three, episode uh one hundred sixteen. Okay. Surprisingly emotional. Yeah, it was emotional. I like I I don't know, it's hard to explain. Whereas like I just look at Kadra, I'm like, you're already dead, you kinda of wasted your life. I'm like, it is what it is. But it's not to say that I didn't like understand what was going on here. I think Randy you the- said earlier that you were you asked me, um, like, isn't he relatable? Yeah, like, trying to find your place in the world and what the hell you were put on this planet for is something that I can I can understand, but I and think he was misguided bad. in what he did and how he went about doing it, and he died in vain, so. What was but he was fighting He was fighting an uphill battle because he has no, because of the suppressed emotions, too, though. So I think it's, in some ways, more impressive. What, what was the question you were going to ask me, Naya? I don't remember, I don't remember dog. It's okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it was it was it was the the uh, one in the post. middle is Kaju's Sura form is a kind of side story, but somehow the only extra chapter of Sura's appeared big, kind of blah blah blah. Da, da, da. That's not what I'm looking for. This is I like this this panel with the last strike, and this is a preview for the thumbnails without a spoiler. So there are many people asking about this. I'll keep it simple. Regarding the fact if dragons love each other, they die. This is also mentioned in my blog novel. The finite, so it's not a spoiler. In here, love is not a, refi- a refined expression. I used because of censorship. It is love as the word itself. Of course, love, considering Rax, excuse me, Rax doesn't love in a physical meaning. Also different from love in I love you, curry gum, nim, lol, lol. I actually had a hard time following what that was supposed to mean. And then that, that didn't clear up anything for me personally. Did it clear up anything for you guys? A long explanation about the Reacher Clan stuff. Mm-hmm. No. It actually put into more questions of me about the canonicity of Finite again. I was like, is it or not? Oh, oh, I do have a thing. I meant to say that earlier. No, there, in, this in canon, like, has, there's literally in canon in this, like, things that have been changed from the Finite. I think mm-hmm. specifically the Tisaka and Vitra stuff, because in the Finite, it makes it seem like uh, even from the finite and her talking about shit around it, that mm-hmm. Vitra and Tasaka are actually comparable because Tasaka's advantage is that fucking OD and that Vitra has a good fight. This presents it as Vitra still would just work him, despite like I told you. Again, I'm happy. I'm just saying this is what she's just changing it now. I'm just saying because that's not what she said. W and a Miles L from a previous disagreement. That's all I'm saying. Wait, how is that an L that I was going with the author? <laughs> oh, that's why she said because of censorship. So 
I mean, like, like I don't love and sex are not interchangeable to me. So my my mind didn't even go there at all. You know, how many people I did not, I do not love at all that I had sex. That's with? not how I took it. Yeah, that, but, that, that, that's uh, how my mind my mind didn't go there. But I guess that's what she meant. Okay, so okay, fair enough. I, I guess yeah. I guess maybe they were thinking making love in their head. I don't know. Maybe, again, I'm not a good person, so. So now we just need to see Vitra in action. Hmm. Because yeah, even some people thought she might have sent it for content. All right, all right, I got it. Now. Got it. Uh, let me see now. So I guess I don't know. So the scene portrays that part is not centered on nor refined. It's the exact thing the narrator decided. They did not want to die while snuggling or doing embarrassing things, but died while doing the exact affectionate touch in the picture. The problem happens when their emotions surpass some level, but this is not always linked to physical contact. But like when Utah attacks Lee's, the emotions are likely to grow over the limit and cause problems when they're contacting physically. So it's like when he always tries to like eat her, I guess. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So because the dragon started out in a stronger position than the other clans, they had little need for Raxus Chats, which led them to not having a mandatory mating without affection in the beginning. Their mindsets were close to if I have to give birth, then with somebody I adore. So they spent a long time searching for their mates before doing a full blown family planning. In that process, the 30% who had mutual affection match died, and the other 70 without a match survived. I think the rest is the rest important. I don't think the rest is not uh, detailed. Not put such a shit. Okay, she. Get, I guess so. I guess the whole time she's saying I'm not doing this because I'm trying to not have them clap cheeks on screen. I suppose. Okay. Fair enough. It was a good chapter though. I like this chapter. I had fun. You guys have any any final words for the ch- on the chapter or questions um, concerns? Give me Shiva or give me death. Yes, you no, I don't think I don't think I do. Okay. That was fun. That was good. What's the next? What's the next one? Next one is the the end of a Phoenix division, right? I think it's I think it's a man. You think it's so for real? Eh? No, it should be. Yeah. I mean, he's like the, he's he's literally the only Phoenix magician that we actually know. But... That was the creation one. Atram. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're both around the same time. I think it's both because I isn't like something about a lover too. I don't know. Or no, was there a different side story that was going to be talked about Atram or something too? When this uh, number? We'll find out. If you'll find out. I guess so. I'm 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 very interested in learning more about this clan, the Varicha clan. Like, I want more. I want to. I want. I want the legitimate names and statuses of other prominent members. Cause I think they said at some point they scattered across the globe. Like whatever, we're just gonna do our own thing. The now. globe. Like, the, sorry, the uh the universe. Um, so. Art Ram wasn't a female magician though. She was just a creation, just creation magic. Then is that what all it was? Yeah, she was a creation magi- magicianist. Mm-hmm. And now he became a priest. Did he really? Did I know that? Yeah, he, he's the priest of Earth. Earth. Oh wow. The next is about Art Ram. I think Curry got mentioned. One will be about her. Well, they're saying that Art Ram is yeah, that's a what I magician though. Unless this is this is no, the end of Art Ram being a Phoenix magician and doing divine magic only. Not sure, not entirely sure, but so I gonna lie to you. Like I have, I, I be having dreams about Kubera, Kubera. About I've, Kubera, I've, and Kubera. Yeah, like, like, like when it came, when it comes back, like I had, I had, I had two dreams where I was reading it, and one where I was like in the universe, and then like time travel leads. I'd met like Kubera from like the beginning and all kind of stuff, and it was just interesting. I don't know, but 